Hey guys, I am back. I finally am getting a chance to do this empties video, you guys. This is the empties. <laughs> I've been meaning to do this video for a while now, but never got a chance to do it. Finally am doing it. So this is my empties and free. I'm gonna call this video empty favorites. So, all right, where do we start? Uh, let's start with skincare. So, I wanted to show you this Glam Glow Mud. Um, this is the Super Mud, the Clearing Treatment Mud. I actually used to like the exfoliating um, mud more, but for some reason now I like um, uh, the clearing treatment better because the other mask has, it's, it's exfoliated, so it has like a little bit, some beads in it. Um, but this, there's nothing in there. It's just purely the mud and some AHAs and stuff. I really enjoy this mud. If um, you have acne prone skin and it is not too sensitive, it can take um, uh, AHAs and stuff like that. Some people's skin are way, is way too sensitive to try this. I love it. This has been around a very, very long time. This is the $25 um, mask. I should have gotten the bigger one, um, but I will, I'm going to go ahead and repurchase this and I'm just going to get the big mask, which is $60. There's also an even bigger one too. I can't remember um, the price. In terms of skincare as well, I used this Aveeno Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen, um, the 60%. I love this a lot. Um, it's sweat and water resistant um, and lasts for 80 minutes before you have to reapply it if you're getting it, if you're if you get your face wet. Um, I absolutely really like this. And subsequently, um, influencer sent me a box with this again, so I didn't have to repurchase it, but this was it very expensive. Although this is a Johnson & Johnson product, um, it actually doesn't have any like crazy ingredients in it. It's one of their cleaner sunscreen so i did not have any issues but i absolutely love this and i have another bottle that i have not finished using yet it's a great sunscreen particularly i would say in the winter time as somebody who has oily skin i would not wear this under makeup i would just wear it alone because um it's too moisturizing so another item that i really have some so many things Another item that I really, really loved is this hydrating toner from PSA Skin. I love this. I've, this is literally like my third bottle of this. Um, I've been through so many of them to the point where I ordered this from the Derm store and I have it on a subscription. That's how much I love this toner. It's, it works so good. And I got this toner I um, recommendation from a esthetician on YouTube. Um, she's based out of LA. She is the esthetician. I'll put her information up here so you guys can see it. She came up with the 60 second rule where you wash your face for 60 seconds. Um, and then in a lot of her product recommendations, she recommended this toner and I never looked back. I, I literally have been using this same toner for the last year and a half. So this is it's, this is not necessarily skincare, but it is a cleanse and rinse clarifying scalp serum from Sunday Riley. This is why I tell I keep telling you guys get on influencer once again. I will leave the link to my influencer affiliate link so you guys can join it because you really I got this product for free. You guys, this product is $48. I had to go and repurchase this again with my own money. And let me tell you it's worth it. I absolutely love it. You it's literally a pre-treatment before you wash your hair and you put it on your scalp, you let it sit um, for a couple of minutes. They say to let it sit to, from five to 15 minutes. One time I left it on for an hour because I had um, I had been doing like a protective style and I hadn't washed my hair in a while. So I let it sit for like an hour or two and then I went ahead and washed my hair. 
and literally it gets any buildup off of your hair. This is very expensive. Subsequently, I do know that um, there is another brand. It is in that black and white bottle. I don't know why I'm forgetting the name. I'll put it up here. It's a um, less expensive brand that makes a similar product. It's way less money. So if you don't want to spend $48 on this, you can go ahead and buy theirs because I believe the ingredients are similar. There's probably a bunch of videos comparing the two, but there's a lot of um, companies that make these pre-treatment serums. I'm so happy that like this is a thing now because if you suffer from dandruff and I have a video on a um, shampoo that I've used long term for the last like 20 years called Nasarol AD. So if you guys want to check that out, it's probably one of the most popular videos on my channel but this is something that i've added to my routine to help me and it's so good um i went through a whole bottle of this 10 percent niacinamide one percent zinc from the ordinary i like the ordinaries um um niacinamide doesn't bother me some people don't like it um but i i liked it also went through the watermelon niacinamide uh dew drops by Glow Recipe. I thought this was a really nice formula as well. But if you don't want to spend the money, you don't have to. I feel like although it's a good product, you can still use something for less money and still get similar results. But I do like the sensation that you get. It smells really good. It's it's just makes your skin look really glowy. I know why people love it. It's really, really good. If I was getting these in PR all the time, I would use them all the time, but I'm like, eh. I, I like it, but not so much where I'm going to like go and like buy it a bunch of times, but maybe I might get in the mood and go buy it again. But I enjoyed this product as well. I also really liked, this is another niacinamide um, serum by Charlotte Tilbury. Now Charlotte, this isn't a cheap, this little bottle it, and one of the reasons why I like it too is because it has like a gemstone um, complex in here. There's like a, a, a gemstone um, extract in here. That's one of the reasons why I bought it. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's a crystal infused complexion serum and it's a nice, it's mostly niacinamide though. But the, to me, even though this isn't cheap, I'm going to leave the price of it up here. This applicator is terrible, and it, this is not a cheap product. So I would change the applicator, Charlotte. I love your products, but this is not acceptable. Like, you can barely get any product in the um, nozzle, and it doesn't come out right. And like I said, this little bottle wasn't cheap. I'm going to leave the price of it. But I did enjoy it as well. It's a nice product. It smells really good, too. I like products that smell good, like um i like smell so this is another product i used up as well and i have another one i bought a bunch of these um this is the beauty stat universal c skin refiner it's l absorbic acid it's 20 percent um vitamin c um it's a really good product i i thought it did wonders for my complexion the only issue I had with this is the third, the second bottle I ordered, the consistency of the product changed. Where there's certain products that I noticed that they don't spread easily. There are times you have to mix it with something else for it to be able to mix enough to, to mix in your face. So I had to, sometimes I had to mix this with SPF because I only use vitamin C during the daytime. Um, I had to mix it with like a little bit of S SPF for it to um, be able to spread evenly on my face. So that was my only criticism, but it worked. This product really evened out my skin and, and left me with a beautiful um, uh, overall even complexion. I really love this product. And this is this person who started, and I'll leave his information. He worked for a bunch of different um, skincare companies um, and then went branched off and made his own. But I genuinely, genuinely, really, really enjoyed this vitamin C. If you're going to get a vitamin C, and it's not cheap, this was like $60 or more, but I was always, I always got it on sale. There's always like a percentage off on this, but it worked really, really well.
I did a separate video. I did like a, one of those shorts on this e.l.f. oil control minimizing serum. I love this serum to the point where I really do believe this is a dupe for the um, glow recipe. The only difference is the smell and this has um, willow in it and it has tea tree and it has a little bit of salicylic acid as well. I think this has some salicylic acid as well. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, this has willow bark extract and tea tree. I love this. And it's only $8. I'm on my second bottle and I just ordered a third one. So I hope they don't ever stop making it. But I absolutely love this niacinamide serum. Works really, really well. It smells good and it's only $8. So I've been taking, this is my second go around with this Hum Skin Squad Pre probiotic i had taken it previously maybe two years ago um and this is supposed to be for um clearing up skin but mostly from your gut i truly believe that they do have a point because when i was taking this in combination with another vitamin they had another um uh, skincare vitamin it really helped to clear my face up to the point where i didn't break out at all um, this works so, so well. I'm going to put the other, um, uh, vitamin I was taking as well, but I love this. Um, I set up like a, um, monthly, uh, subscription with them and I'll leave my link to the thing cause you can sign up using my, um, link and you get like $10 off. I think these hum vitamins are one of the best on the market. I really love them. Um, I also been taking this private part, um, party, um, it supports urinary tract health. It has cranberry probiotics, three strands, uh, and 10 billion um, organisms. So I really love um, this as well because it also helps my skin. It is the Lancome Nutrix, Nutrix Royal Body Butter. Let me tell you, you guys, look at it. This smells so good. It smells like money. Oh my God. It smells so good. And it's really good for dry skin. I was having a problem with whatever lotion I was using, I was still be getting ashy. And I was like, what the hell is going on with me? And there's nothing special about the ingredients in here, you guys. Because it has mineral oil in it. It has um, um, silicone in there. There's uh, germ oil, corn oil, like there's nothing, and these it has, it even has um, palm oil in it. Um, but there is, um, there is, I think what it is, I notice in terms of like moisturizers, sometimes the moisturizers with silicone work better to keep my skin hydrated. I don't know what it is, maybe, the silicone is providing a barrier between you, your skin and the environment and doesn't allow the moisture to escape. I don't know if that's what it is. This works so well and it smells really good, but this joint is $45, you guys. But it smells good and it works. I absolutely love it. I will go buy, I will be buying another one. Like I said, I have a coupon. I'm going to try to see maybe if, um, cause I also have the Capital One shopping app as well. And so I get a lot of cash back. So I'll see maybe if I, if I earned enough money that I can get like a, a gift certificate to Macy's. That's a lot of times that's how I shop. You guys, I really try not to buy everything at full price. There are certain things that I do buy at full price that I really like, but most of the time I really try to buy things with some sort of discount. That's why it's good to have that um, um, the Capital One discount thing on your Chrome extension because that really, really helps you earn money um, and it shows you all the coupon codes and all that stuff. So whenever I'm buying anything online, I try not to do it from my phone. I do it from my computer just to make sure I get the all the discounts. But this, oh my God, you guys. I'm telling you, if, you're, if you have extremely dry, especially for the winter time, you have dry skin and you notice that nothing that you've used is keeping your skin from drying out this lotion. It's a body butter, excuse me, works so well and it smells very good. It smells like, like you, like you got it. Like, 
Let me tell you something. If you have four type hair that tangles, maybe you have another type of texture that tangles easily. But I know for my hair type, in terms of four textured hair, my hair tends, because I don't comb it all the time. Like I don't use a comb every day. So, you know, when I'm going to wash my hair, sometimes I'll have more tangles than most people who brush their hair every day. I just don't believe in combing hair every day, especially for my texture because it's natural. But, you know, if you have relaxed, you know, you can do, you know, you kind of take care of your hair a little different. But even that, even if you are a relaxer and you don't comb your hair every day and you notice you're prone to tangles, this pre-treatment, this is single-handedly one of the best hair products I've used in probably the last 20 years. This right here, it's literally, you see, you notice that there are people who make the um, pre-treatments with aloe. This is exactly what it is. It is literally the same thing because I don't know if you can tell. Like there's a little bit left. I wish I had taken a, okay, yeah, you can see it. So literally it's the same texture. The ingredients, I don't know who is that African Pride, but they're not playing because the this particular line, so there is the second ingredient is aloe leaf extract. There's glycerin in here. It works. Oh my God, you guys. Your comb will glide through your hair, especially if you have a hair that tangles. I don't know what it is about type 4 hair and castor oil, but my hair loves castor oil. And I, I've, I ended up using this. I think I had this for about six months. You don't need a lot. Like if you're twisting your hair, you don't need, you only need a little bit. And literally you wake up the next day and you have the softest hair. You don't need a lot. I literally would put it on just after I wash my hair and that's it. I wouldn't even use it during the week again. Cause that's how much moisture, it, like it just added so much softness. I love, 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 love this product. The, the first ingredient is castor oil. Sec, second ingredient is olive oil, distilled water, botanical infusion of organic, organic philathus, which is alma, which is very good for hair falling, um, organic bopopa. It's really like th some of the best, best, best ingredient. And it just works so well for type four hair. Like literally they make stuff for type four i love love this brand like i will continue to buy to the point where i wish i had brought it but i bought the big size that's how much i was like oh yeah i gotta always have this around oh my god kemet biological they sell this at sephora but i tend to just order it from them directly on their website another hair care product is this cantu uh, for natural hair completely conditioning co-wash i love this co-wash um this is another product um with castor oil especially at the beginning um and i noticed that also too um i was able to kind of really comb my hair out very easily i would co-wash my hair like once a week and then i would wash it um because my hair just likes water i love this shampoo um, what is in here is not what it's supposed to be. And I just kept the bottle. What's in here is this strength and color care shampoo from Shea Moisture. I love this shampoo. So I just kind of transferred the, um, the shampoo into this pointy bottle and I added a little bit of moist, uh, water because it just makes it a little bit more liquid. And that's what I loved about this shampoo because it was very liquidy. And um, you didn't need a lot. And I just usually would um, shampoo my hair once. Um, I don't, especially with shampoos like this, because it, it felt more like a, um, it felt more like a clarifying shampoo. And I can see why, because there is salicylic acid in here. It's really meant to um, help clean your scalp. Um, but it says love at first wash water to foam shampoo. It's a really great shampoo and you don't really need a lot of it. I'm so glad that the brands are starting to use pointy bottles now. Cause you know, before back in the day, we had to go and buy the pointy bottle, add it in there and, you know, make our own little concoction. 
but this was a really 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 good um shampoo i really liked it used it all up and just you know continue to reuse the bottle i like to do that a lot just to recycle it's so great and that's i think that's why they really made it so you can reuse it um i will i may repurchase it um but the only issue i had with it is that um i thought it it just stripped my hair a little too much. That's why I only shampooed once with it. And I was able to get a good wash without overly stripping my hair. But I really love this shampoo. Uh, and that's it, y'all. That's all my empties and favorites. I will leave all the products that I used up below. Some of these I'm still using, like this PSA um toner certain things i still have in my in my um collection because you know their favorite favorite empties <laughs> so you know there's certain things i will rebuy um certain things that I, you know most of these i i'm gonna rebuy so they are empty favorites that's why the video is titled empty favorites if you enjoyed the video i know it's long please leave a thumbs up um comment if you have any questions subscribe if you like the footage or you, you like the content um and i'll see you guys in the next time um this video probably will go up before because i did do a get ready with me with a with influencer because i did get some of these things from um influencer um from like my makeup look so i will um probably put that up either before or after this video most likely after because that's going to take me a little bit more time to edit but once again i'm jj leave a comment thumbs up subscribe because that helps the channel grow and if you have any questions please do not be shy leave them below and i usually get back to you within a day i'll see you guys next time bye